We begin with breaking news this noon. A small plane has crashed in St. Petersburg. We've been following this breaking news all morning. Right now we're hearing emergency responders are working the scene near Vinoy Park. We want to show you a live look at the scene now from Action Air 1. This is near Bayshore Drive and 7th Avenue North. Our Serena Fazan just arrived on the scene minutes ago. She joins us now live. Serena, what can you tell us is happening out there right now? Well, Dia, Dan, first of all, I want to tell you it is absolutely remarkable. All four, all four people on this small plane that you see actually survived this crash. Now, we're at the very end, the edge of Vinoy Park. There is the plane right there. The FAA says it's the PA-28 single-engine plane. Here's what we know. The plane actually took off from Tallahassee. The four people on board from the UK, they did get clearance to land at Albert Wooded Airport, but emergency crews on the scene say they encountered some type of mechanical problems. That is when the pilot actually managed to land the plane on this grassy area. Remarkably, this park, which is usually packed with people, was fairly empty. It clipped a tree and it landed right there. We actually spoke to a witness on the scene who saw the emergency crews try to get the four people out, and here's what he said he saw. And they were there with the pilots, um, held his head so that it wouldn't move, and he did seem to regain consciousness. I saw him speak to them uh, momentarily, and within probably four or five minutes, the rescue was here. Except they encountered mechanical problems, and they had to go down, and they clipped a tree on the way down. Luckily, they did not come close to anybody in the park. That really is remarkable. And we just heard details just a couple of minutes ago on the identification of the four people on board. I do want to tell you that two are in serious condition. One refused treatment, and a teenage girl is suffering minor injuries. Now, her name is not being released, but we do know that the pilot is 57 years old. His name is Grant Jordan. The other two passengers, Alalisius Ryan and Eamon Hernell. Now, once again, one of those passengers did refuse treatment. Another remarkable story is that there were some firefighters actually practicing drills at a pool not so far away. They happened to see the plane above, saw that it was having problems, and those were the emergency crews that actually responded. Hopefully, we are going to get a chance to talk to them. But once again, here's that plane right here. The FAA is still not even on the scene. We are expecting them here shortly. 